Alright, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to remake Please Donate, you know the hit game with like a billion visits in Roblox Studio with my kit, so you can receive donations from other players and donate to other players in your Roblox game. This will also mean that whenever someone donates in your game, you get 10% of the amount of Robux donated. So for example, if someone donated 100,000 Robux, you would get 10,000. Right, so the first thing we want to do, obviously I'm just going to stop the game, but the first thing we need is my kit. So just go over to top link in the description, it'll take you to my kit. Just click get model and it'll say the site has been added to your inventory. You can then close out of this and go back to Roblox Studio. And now in Roblox Studio, we need the toolbox to insert the kit. So just go into the view tab at the top and click on toolbox. And you want to go to your my models tab and click on the please donate kit. Just click OK if this pops up and then you can close out the toolbox. So as you can see, the kit's been inserted. This is my very basic stand. This can be customized by the way, but I've just made a very basic one for this video. Right, as you can see, if we open up this Please Donate kit in our Explorer, you see there's lots of different folders and there's a README. So you can read this if you'd like. All it says is just made by me, please credit me uh, if you use it in your game. But what it also says is, you know, you can make as many stands as you like, so just duplicate the stand itself once it's in the workspace and you need to move everything to its respective place. So how you set this up is you go through each folder, so for example, replicated storage, you want to drag whatever's in this folder into replicated storage. And then same server script service, we're going to put both of these scripts in server script service. And then for start GUI, again, we're going to put this in start GUI. Then for start player script, we're going to drag this, start player, start player script. And then finally workspace, we're going to drag this up into the workspace. And then we can delete our kit model. So now we have our stand, obviously you can make your own map. But this is our stand. So you can make as many of these as you like. For example, I'm just going to duplicate it and make three. But you can add as many as you like. So that is basically our game already set up. That took us, what, two minutes, a minute, right? It's that easy. But one thing you have to make sure that is enabled in your game quickly, go to game settings, go down to security, and you need to make sure allow HTTP requests and enable studio access to API services. Make sure they're both enabled, because if they aren't, then this won't work. You also have to make sure that when the player joins your game, their inventory is open, it is public, so everyone can see it, because if it can't, the server won't be able to get their items. Right, so now we can just test out our game. So what we're going to do is we're just going to publish our game to Roblox with Alt-P, or you can go to the top left file, publish to Roblox, and then I'm going to join the game with two different accounts so you can see how it works when you're donating to other people. So, I here we are. I'm in my game with my main account and my alt account. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and claim a stand with my main account. And then walk over and claim a stand with my alt account as well. There we go. As you can see, Squiddings 15 Robux raised and 1999 Macintosh 5 raised. And there we go. All of my different products have loaded. So... I can also show you how you can edit your stand. So I can just say, please donate to me and click confirm and it will change that. But what you don't have to worry about is getting banned for things that players put on here because it uses Roblox's text filter service to make sure it's not putting anything that is usually filtered. So for example, if I want to change my text to something that you do, normally does get filtered to show you, I just put in Discord because that normally gets filtered, click confirm and you'll see it turns it to hashes just like it would in chat. So now I can show you how donations work. So as you can see, I can go stand behind my stand for this. And then as my alt account comes up, I will choose an amount to buy. So say I want to donate, I don't know, 20 Robux. I can click on 20 and it'll bring up the shirt and I can just click 20. I can just click on it just to buy it. And you'll see when I click OK, you will see that the raised on the stand goes up and my donated for this alt account will go up and my main accounts received will also go up. So I just click OK. You'll see, donated and received go up, and as well as the stand. It would also work with my alt account if I had any passes or items of clothing for sale, but I don't at the moment, so I can't show you that. And another thing I'll show you is when you leave the game, obviously, you uh, the stand becomes unclaimed. So for example, if I was to just leave the game on my alt account, you see the stand becomes unclaimed. And if I walk up to it with my main account and just hold E to claim, You'll see it will replace my other claimed stand with this one and I'll just go ahead and reload all of my products. And by the way, you can customize these stands. I know they're very boring as is, but they are customizable. But make sure when you're customizing them, you do not make any parts or values that interfere with claimed, claimed username, base, message part or products, and it will work absolutely fine. That's just something you have to make sure you're not doing. 
when you change it because it will break the script. So that was how you can make a Please Donate style game in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. This did take me quite a long time to make, probably about two or three days. So yeah, a lot of effort. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.